My name na Oma, I be CEO for Oma Koto. My name na Doin Salazak, CEO Zak Styling Clothing Brand. The thing will make me enter fashion be say, most of the time if I go out like this, people they enjoy my dressing, no be small. Anytime where I go out like this, they go talk, say, ah, uh, how you combine this color, how you combine? So I'm a kind of person that loves colors, loves rich fabric. So I just talk, say, make me to go into this fashion. So people go chop out of the enjoyment. Now, wait to make me go be that thing. Now, luxury carry me into fashion. So I remember doing um, my friend's reception dress. So, and that from there it took me on, I started designing for brands. So when I started the business, now like 3,000 when I use go to Joshua Market to buy fabric. Now you make me use way I start the business. <laughs> <laughs> this business sweet. I don't go like Oma. Before I be say, you know even need to get one billionaire to start this business. Good thing be say Instagram done day. Anything where you post on Instagram, just talk saying that you do one. Maybe even if you like get 2,000, business don't set already. Now you be the cocoa. That's it. By the time where I start this business, my plans will say I'll go get Zach Styling house. Like big house, maybe say, hey, hey, I'll go they do, they sew anyhow. All the people where they ask me for the clothes, how are they doing? I think say they go just they patronize, I go make big money, get big mansion. But at the end of the day, it doesn't it doesn't work that way. Like the way I was, I just remember the way I was last year is different from this year. You will just be improved. But for you to get that money, bam, like that immediately, you know they work like that. So everything are patient. With time, everything go perfect. The time when I start, hmm, this story too long. <laughs> but anyways, it's not what you see most of the times that you is obtainable, because along the line there are different experiences, there are different lessons. So you, when I started, my mind was, ah, I'm going to get one big factory for Surulere, where everybody go see, where everybody go know, say, ah, Oma Kucho don't arrive. Oma, <laughs> before I could even afford one machine, no more, I swear it's like this. So people will support you, people will tell you, ah, don't worry, I will patronize you, I'll do this. <laughs> By the time you start, ah, my sister, you got to get strong you mind, know, though. You know, that's <laughs> true. The first sale when I make, now me tell my friend, say, ah, come now, make I make clothes for you. And though she had her doubts, but she can't give me, say, oh yeah, Oma, let's just see. Let me just see that she, I've been disturbing her, though, like I've been bugging her, disturbing her. Let me just try something. You don't have to pay. Let me just do it for you for free. Then she was not like, okay. So when I did it, it turned out nice. And then from there, she encouraged me, and that's how. Me self, oh, as I start this business, my first person, the first person where I make clothes for now, my auntie, because that my auntie they go party most of the time. She like party so much. So from seeing her with the um, wearing the half red, from there other people saw it, saw it, saw it, it came, boom, and like that <laughs> I started. If you want to keep your clients. If I did, if I won't keep my claim, the basic thing the same. I do always put in all my efforts for any clothes where they tell me say make I do. Because there's no how way you do bad clothes where they go come back. They, this thing no get secure. If you don't do good clothes for them, obviously they go come back again. 
I would say me are the always to be that. Mm. Me are they always follow up with my clients. So now so I they keep them and they send them broadcasts. They even remember their birthday self to send them gifts. So now all these things make even if they never buy from my hand for two weeks, one month, I still they send message. They remind them, say I still they here. Oh. Now so The challenges when are they face for this business we say people they undervalue our service. That's one. Another one we say electricity. That one a general problem for Nigeria. Yeah. But now the now this challenge where me they face for this business be that. Me, my staff eh, they can be very funny. They can be very, very funny. But thank God you need to make sure that all the time you're intact, you did very intact. At times light, like my colleague to don't say and my friend don't say say. Light is a ma- basic basic problem in the because if lights no day, most of the time it they delay work so much. So those are the basic things that we face. If I see our governor today, someone I'll go tell and say Oh God, Mr. Governor, the thing where we need gone gone na phone to. Because as you stand like this, the clothes where you wear, na tell us so hard. We need funding, we need good machines, we need good equipment to, to like even build schools for people that wants to go into tailoring. So with that, it go help people when no even get work. No, the ordinary man will just buy all this small, small, good quality machine go help us. For this uh, fashion industry, the thing where I go tell someone who look today, if I see him, if I if see him for streets, if I go hold him, say, oh God, now funding and support we need for this yeah, fashion business. Exactly. That's what every fashion designer needs. Mm-hmm. He needs funding, he needs support, and the funding is not oh come and dash me money and go. Dash me money creates mentorship programs exactly. that would continue to um, educate the designers on how to run the business and how to make money from the funding. Mm-hmm. Waiting they make my business different from others, we say I get value for service. Now that service na him be the coco. If you no know, give person better service, the person no go come back again. Yeah. So now the service na him be the main main coco for my business. Yes, yes. And me as I did like this, the coco be say I they make sure say anybody if he buy my outfit, anybody, I make sure say you know they too expensive. I make sure say anybody can just walk into my store and say that they have a party, they have a birthday party or wedding or something. They can easily come in and pick up something where no go cost too much. So now we're seeing me as the use. People won't want to start business. My advice to you people be saying. You guys should all always um, concentrate and you don't have to have billions of naira, millions of naira to start up this business, trust me. Just start from somewhere and before you know it, you're everywhere already. The advice where I go give person we won't start this fashion business be say may you day consistent. Yeah. Be consistent, you I go talk again, be consistent because an idea people go know which one you day. No, be say you go do fashion today, you go do hair tomorrow, you go do be <laughs> consistent. <laughs> Naim be yeah, my own. Just the basic, yeah. I'll I'll be fashion, fashion designer, designer and in the watch was over TV. TV. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.